quick video to show you how to extend your HDMI signals so that you can pass an audio and a video signal over long distances that might enable you to keep your video equipment separated from your actual uh, media viewing location. So to do this, I'm using a couple uh, devices that were purchased on Amazon. The first is this HDMI splitter here. And then the second is this HDMI extender, which extends the signal over CAT6 wire here in yellow. The reason I'm using the splitter is to keep the Bluetooth enabled Fire TV stick in the room because these uh, Fire TV remotes, and, and this one's just red because it has a cover over it. It's a silicon cover. Uh, you can buy these on Amazon too. Um, the reason I have to have the stick in the room is the range on these. They're only about 30 feet. They use Bluetooth and that's not much distance um, to get to my other room. And also, uh, they use infrared to control the television set. So if there's a volume control or an on-off that you want to use, you're going to be using infrared. So I need to have um, the remote in the room with the television to be able to do those commands as well, right? So the splitter, what I do is I plug the input source, which in this case is my Fire TV stick. Now mine has a power cord coming off the side here that actually is going into another splitter where I'm using a Cat6 hardwired connection to, to drive my Fire TV. Yeah, these are wireless and that's great, but I have found through experience of using Fire TVs in multiple rooms that having a hardwired connection always works better than the wireless connection. Uh, I've got great Wi-Fi in this location, uh, but despite that, I've never had problems when I'm using the $14 adapters from Amazon. Uh, but I've always had issues with synchronization off of the Wi-Fi. So I just do this from now on and I don't have hardly the problems. But going back to the splitter here, what I'm splitting out effectively is the video and the sound. So I'm sending one of these cables, this one here, out to my HDMI extender. And this is going to go to my surround sound in the alternate room. That receiver in that room, and I'll show you that in just a moment, has all the wiring for my surround sound speaker system that comes back into this room. So if I look around the room here on the right and see the white, these white speakers here, I've got the subwoofer in the room, but I don't want to have the receiver uh, in the room itself. So this signal here takes the sound, moves it through this extender, and then through this Cat6 uh, Cat cable, I go into the wall and then this hardwired yellow cable here, it goes all the way back to the receiver. And I'll show you what is uh, in place on the receiver end. The other cord here coming out is the HDMI signal as well, but I just ignore the audio that's in it and take the video from it and put that in here to drive the television set. So now I've got my input source came in, I divided that into two, sent the video down to the TV and sent the audio over to this extender. So now this extender, these are great kits, um, very durable, last many years. I've got these in place in two locations. This here not only extends the audio and the video signal, you could, you could do both, um, but it also extends the infrared as well. So that's what this cable is in here. The infrared sensor uh, is on this, this long cord and I've got it set up down here on the front of my television set with this little receiver here. So if I just aim my remote IR signal at this here, then IR signals are gonna go all the way back to my receiver in the other room to control volume, input selection, really anything. It's as if that receiver was in the local room. Now, if I come upstairs to the closet, AV closet, where I have the equipment, here you can see two surround sound systems. This does uh, that media room that I was showing you the other equipment in. And this does another bedroom here. Uh, they work basically the same. Here's the IR input wire coming in so that the IR signals from that media room will hit this receiver from the remote. And then over here, here is the other side of that HDMI over CAT6 transmitter. This is the one that's receiving the signal. Uh, and coming out of that, here's the the IR uh, transmit um, cable that goes around. And then there's an HDMI 
cord coming out of the back here, which just plugs into the surround sound system. And the surround sound system here, this unit, um, has all of the outputs here. These are all going out to the to that room. So got quite a mess of uh, cables here that go throughout the house, but they all go directly out into that uh, media room. This is from uh, JTEC Digital, and these have worked really good. I haven't had any issues with them. Been very reliable. So that's it. That's how I've remoted my HDMI signals and been able to get the sound brought up to a different location into this rack and into the surround sound system and then, and then back out through the, the building into the other room. Um, and I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, please give it a thumbs up. You can look in the video description and I'll have a link to where I got all these products on Amazon. So you can pick those up. Uh, and as always, have a great day.